In this video, we're going to go over the double leg takedown. So, we're both going to be in our stance. We're going to be the same leg, same leg lead. Switch your stance, switch your stance. So, the most important thing you got to realize here is you can't just take this double, you can't just shoot in without setting up this shot. If I do, try to dive in, he's going to immediately put his hands down and I'm going to miss the shot. So, I got to be back up. I got to set him up for the shot. So, we're going to do a series of videos on setups, but for this setup, for this takedown, we're going to go over a simple poking of the elbows set up right into the double leg takedown. So, we're both going to be in our stance. He's going to reach for my shoulders. Once he reaches for my shoulders, I'm going to poke at his elbows. I'm going to take the space in between my thumb and my index finger, and I'm going to poke right at his elbows. I'm going to go directly up, but I'm not going to go all the way up and then come down. I'm going to poke up as I bend my knees and I lower my level. So this is the first part. He touches me, I'm going to take my, the space between my index finger and my thumb and poke up and bend my knees and drop my level here. Again, he reaches up, I post, I mean I poke and drop my level right here. That's going to initiate the takedown in order for me to get in enough space to be able to actually penetrate through him. So, he posed, I poke. The next step, I'm going to take a step in between his two, legs, his two feet. I don't want to stay here and try to take him down from here. I want to actually try to move him back with my shoulder at his belly. So, from here, he's in a post. I'm going to take a step forward, drop my level, and drive my shoulder into his belly, pushing him a little bit back. Right in here. You see how he moves back? That means I'm penetrating through him. If I just go here and drop down, he's going to just squash me, choke me out, or spin behind. But if I get enough force in, He's going to take a couple steps back and bend at the waist with me driving my shoulder down into his belly. So I'm going to post and then penetrate through. Notice how he, takes it, he shuffles a couple of feet back. So once we're in, post, I'm going to penetrate through and then the back of my hands are going to go to the back of his legs. And I want to chop down. So he's going to go here. I'm going to step forward, penetrate through. Drive my knee over my ankle, and then notice what I did there. I take my back leg and I step up. From here, I'm not going to pick him up and try to out-muscle him. He's a little bit bigger than me, so what I want to do is I want to use leverage. So what I want to do here is I want to bring my back foot up and post. I then want to take my hand closest to this back foot that I posted up and come behind his knee. My far hand is going to go to the far knee. My that hand to the far knee is going to chop down while this one pulls up. I'm going to chop the far leg, pull up, and then use my head as a lever and tip him right over. Right to the ground and secure side control. One more time. Remember again, one hand pulls, the other hand chops. Use your head as a lever and tip, tip him right over like a teapot. I mean, I step, he goes back, I tip him right over. Another angle, let's go here. We're in our stance, he posts. I come in, nice and deep, takes a couple steps back. I chop here, and I pull here. And then I use my head as a lever, and turn him, and tip, cut the corner, and tip him right over. And secure, side control. One more time. We're in that stance, he, he touches, right under, take him down, one more time, full speed. We're in our stance, he reaches, right down. That was the double leg takedown brought to you by Open Math.